Welcome back to part four of my six part series of unique toys ordered. Today we have 005 Hagen, which is unique toys homage to Cutthroat, who is basically the most normal of the bunch. He's just a bird. What he basically is, is Alberic from, from right here. His body is the exact same as Alberic's, but without the extra arms and with a bird head and more of a bird tail and bird legs. They kind of cheated a little bit and I'm okay with it because I actually like the way he looks. He's great. He doesn't come with barely anything. You get the robot in the package and you get the hand. The wings are pretty much his accessories. And there's a couple different places you can plug them onto. You can have them on his side or you can have them on the back. I usually have them on the back for robot mode and on the side for bird mode but they look fine either way. He has a lot of great articulation, especially on the wings. They move around like this. They move up and down like this. They move around like this on a dumbbell hinge. Uh, they move up separately on the hinge here. The bird mode, the beak opens and he has his drool coming down here. Uh, and it moves all kinds of ways all the way around. His legs, these down here, again, just like Albrecht, these end up being his robot arms. So they essentially have all kinds of articulation because they're arms. Uh, and that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot to say about this guy because everything I've pretty much said, I said about Albrecht. If you've seen the Reaper label set for these guys, there's actually nothing supposed to be on his head. Uh, but I went ahead and put a little Decepticon symbol on the head here because I felt like it should have one. Uh, all the other ones do on their head or neck or somewhere around this area. So it felt weird. Plus this becomes his chest. So now he has one on his chest too. It made sense. He also has... Decepticon logos on his wings, which were fun to do. But just like all the others, for the most part, the stickers, which I highly recommend getting, break up the monotony of just solid, what is this, brown plastic or dark green plastic that it would normally have. Uh, and it just, it looks fantastic. They're fun to put on. I had a lot of fun doing them. Uh, and there's, yeah, that's it. That, that's pretty much all there is to say on this guy. Mm, do, do, do. Hagen, Sarah Hagen, is it? it's the last name. It's a city in Germany. Can't find anything on Hagen, unlike Albrecht. Uh, obviously the Fenrir one, everyone knows what Fenrir is. It was the wolf and the, and the Norse gods. Let's go ahead and get this guy in his robot mode. Step one, the wings are already where I want them. So we're gonna leave them there. Step one's done. Step two, we're actually gonna unplug the legs just like we do with Albrecht and get them up and around. And we're going to, this time I'm learning, I'm remembering, we're gonna unpeg his legs down here so I can bring the tail up and around because it, there's a little groove that it sits in right there. And this part makes it like, once it's in there, it's in there. You have to unpeg them to get it. So that's up in there, up in here, up in here. Just like on Albrick or Ripper Snapper, the front kind of pulls out and then the sides of the arms snap right in like so and i love that snap it's a solid snap the there's a peg that this fits into down there it'll snap right in to keep the head where it should be and then there's a peg right here and a hole underneath here and that goes right in right yeah right in uh we're gonna turn the arms around the claws fold in on themselves just like on Albrecht's. When you pull the whole thing forward that sort of pulls the hand out automatically because it's tight enough. So we have the upper the upper part ready to go. Next we're going to work on the bottom which is identical to Albrecht as far as transformation goes. So the whole thing combiner wars is out on itself and you can snap it right back in and I'll keep it in place. The bottom of his feet come out and then he's got the little heel spurs right down there so again I didn't I didn't take too good a care to show you this because it's the same as Albrecht for the most part so if there's anything weird honestly you can go back and watch the Albrecht review and you'll get just as much out of it the thing about this guy though is Albrecht had a whole shark on his back but he has kind of half a bird and he's very back heavy He's super back heavy, so he loves to fall back for absolutely no reason whatsoever. And there we go. That's Hagen in his robot mode. His, oh, this part folds down. 
to make it less awkward into his face. So his, his bird head does get a little bit in his face, which kind of sucks, but you know, it's fine. What are you gonna do? Uh, I like his colors, I like his stickers. They come with alternate stickers. Any place that you see a Decepticon on all these figures, they also, the sticker sets also came with that tattoo with the double-headed dragon uh, that kind of goes on. It's like actually it's a Predacon symbol. Um, so what I did, he, he's supposed to have Decepticon logos on his arms here. So I put one Decepticon logo here instead of the two on his arms and then put those symbols on his arms to kind of give him like tattoos, like he's the badass of the group. I don't know. On the sides here is where he has the kanji club, the kanji, the kanji club, the kanji uh, sticker here and then over here he has 005 on this one and then on his leg is where he has that cool double-headed uh, tattoo with the Decepticon logo. His articulation is identical to the others. He's got head up here. Now this one the head's super tight like the the ball joint is a little too tight. This goes all the way around just like Elbrick he does not have wrist movement. His legs come out they go back he has crazy angle tilt, so if you want to do that, you absolutely can. But again, he'll probably fall back because the heel spurs don't don't do anything, and he has a lot. He has a lot back here. This is pretty heavy. This is a solid chunk of plastic back here. So from the back, he kind of looks a little lame. From the front, he looks pretty good. From the side, he looks a little big. But again, you know what? The thing about these guys is you don't buy them really. I mean. For their robot mode or even for their alt mode you buy them for their limb mode so let's go ahead and get him in his limb mode since he doesn't have any weapons to take off and his wings can stay right where they are step one is going to be to put his head away we're going to put away his arms just his hands i suppose and we're going to fold them up just like we did albrick the cool thing about this is you don't have to worry about the extra tiny little hands so he has a lot more freedom to kind of do it what you want up here but it still would have been nice if there had been something that it snaps into just to make it like, yeah, that's how it goes. Uh, the wings, you can kind of do with whatever you want. I usually have them just folded down like this. And then his lower half is the exact same as Albrecht. So we're gonna fold up the feet. We're going to accordion back in the legs. Combine our wars them back up here and then just like Albrick, he has a special combiner, or not combiner wars. Yeah, a special combiner joint. And then I'm gonna break apart his legs again and get his hand right in there. So there's just a little little slots for the hand to plug right into. It's very secure. There we have Hagen, or Cutthroat, in his arm mode. And I love the wings that come up here. It gives him a lot of character on his arm. It looks, it gives him a good silhouette. These wings, you can kind of put on the back of the combined mode. I'll try to show you, but they don't look good. They're not big enough basically to be good at that so that's it this has been hagen thank you so much for watching stay tuned for siegfried which is the fifth member and then finally the combined form video so like share subscribe whatever you like to do there comment let me know what you think let me know what you think i could do better and i'll see you bye